hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel if you are new here my name is faith and today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video and it's titled self-entitled women gets humbled you guys i'm excited for this if you're here to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about hi what's your name Action. what's your name Ekin. Ekin, nice to meet you, Ekin. Yeah. Kiss or slap? Slap. Slap? Go! No. Thank you. That wasn't very nice! Are you lying to me right now? Not me serious, but can you actually get out of my face though, please? Sure. What? Sorry to interrupt. Yeah. What about you? You good? I'm, yeah, I'm good. Alright, well thanks. Have Thank a good day. You. Yeah, you too. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. Leave me alone, please leave me alone. You like girl, you make my uh. No, not gonna happen. We had banged me and basically told me that we're moving to Saudi. I'm gonna be sat at home on my own. It's part of the game, innit? He cold. So that's a footballer called Riyad Mahrez and he just moved to a club in Saudi Arabia where he earns about 750000 a week. You know, so I'm sure his wife will be fine, but as you can see, she wasn't too happy about it. But as Mahrez says... Part of the game, innit? Who would you go for? That one? This one or this one? Neither. Why? I can tell you all three. You already told me she was over a roster. <laughs> and if she's her friend... And she's her friend. None of them are good. You gotta stay true to yourself, King. What do you think is the body count? I'ma say 15. Damn. 15. And I'ma say over 20. The body count? Truly. What's your body count? And yours is Four. Three. Four. Four. So what's the perfect body count for a woman? Uh, for a woman, I'ma say under seven. Under seven. Under seven. Mm. Damn. So Any so Anything above is crazy. None of these can be. None of these can have a chance. Not a chance. You got. You got to be worthy of yourself, man. You're worth more than that. But you don't think high body count means more experience? More experience? I don't give a fuck about more experience. Oh, shit, what will you rate them then? What I rate them? They good looking. Nah. Damn. Damn. Nah. <laughs> you gotta say true to yourself, man. He said one of them told him that she had a roster off camera, so he's right about that being a sign that her friends are probably the same. If you meet a girl and she says all her friends are for the streets, she's probably also for the streets. Also, from the way they reacted when he guessed their body count, I'd say he's also right about that. Or it's more. I'm Haley. I'm Jamil. Straight to it. I'm like... Uh, right? Oh, is there? Yeah. Not my type. <laughs> what is your type? Ooh, I really like a tall. What's your name? Mo. Not bad. Yeah. Mark. Did you just say Kanye West? That's of course. Oh. We're gonna take a break from the mess. Hi. Hi. Behind all of Oh, hello. Hi. I don't know that we have someone for you. Is that I find me? that controversial. How do you know? Because I've already gone through everybody. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here. Doesn't matter. You have an hour, and it's not that hard. Believe me. I'm not gonna have you. I'm not gonna have you make the, all these other people get mad. Now I'll call over that gate, and I won't let them let, let you get on the plate if you don't settle down. I think you don't understand. I understand. I I live here. I work here. I know how big the airport is. Yes. Yeah, do you, you do you live here? Do you also know that our flight was was canceled twice? Like well, I don't know about that one. I know this one's it's leaving at four o'clock. It's three o'clock. We have one hour to get there. And if you don't settle down, I'm going to have somebody take you off this aircraft, but it's not going to be going to your next one. You understand me? You're not the only people on this aircraft. Mm -hmm. The man lives and works there. If he says you can get there in an hour, then stop making a scene and... Shut your brain, man. Whatever language it is that you're speaking, okay? This is America, and you get it right the first time. You get it right the first time. Get it right the first time. What an idiot! Oh! Okay, papi. Pero answer this. The PS5 or me? Pick one. That's one of the most stupid questions I've ever <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Seems we've got to do this every year, and like every year, every man with a brain cell has chosen the PS5. 
of course most men if not all men would definitely pick a ps5 let me know what you guys think about this video this is very very hilarious and i'm having fun with this particular one and you guys let's continue watching chosen the ps5 a lot of you have said ah what i'm doing it's not really good and it's there's all these bad problems mm -hmm. well, did anyone ever say that? I, does anywhere. anyone here feel that what they're doing right now is derailing them from being from the with the person they're supposed to be with in the end and no. the life that they're supposed to well, end up with no, no i'm not saying in the like end no. i'm not saying in the end because i don't know. right now so i think at least some of you but, but none of us no. if we're not looking for a long-term relationship yeah. right now how does that even make sense we don't want that we're not looking for that all of us are literally saying the same thing you're not looking for it though one of you just said that you know look it takes a while to have a relationship and maybe it might take a couple of years of dating and then you get engaged and then, so these things don't happen overnight really what happens is people tend to just keep going down the roads that they're on and mm -hmm. they the habits that they cultivate become the habits that define their lives whether it's virtue or vice and i i just think if you believe you're going to keep doing this and then one day at 34 and a half, you're going to wake up and say, you know what? I'm going to do something totally different now and get Mr. Wright, who's not addicted to porn and get oh. two kids and millions of dollars. I just think that's very, very unlikely. I think okay. it's more likely that all of us are going to find like some hot, rich guy to marry and take care of us than to like be single for the rest of our lives. <laughs> that's funny. Because we've set those standards for ourselves. We're not going to accept like anything less. Is that funny? It's I mean, funny, like, look girl. at the panel. Like, we're not gonna die alone. Look at us, we're hot. Keep telling yourself that, darling. They all think they can do porn and OnlyFans and just quit when they feel like it and find a top one percent man and live happily ever after. <laughs> yeah. Like that's ever gonna happen? Oh, look. <laughs> They also seem to think they're a lot more attractive than they are just because they got 10 sims paying mm -hmm. for their OnlyFans. I don't even think a below average man would be too impressed exactly. with these women. You are not going to tell me that the only thing a man gets from a woman is nasty sex. How am I not going to tell you that? Okay. So you tell me what a man feel he get. <laughs> no, since you know what a man feel a man get, tell me what a exactly. man feels he get. Damn. Tell I me. I love that y'all making the point. <laughs> tell me what a man feels he get, Azar. Tell I'm not me. a man, so I'm not going to speak for a man. Heather, I'm, uh, <laughs> I, you just spoke for a man. Do you remember you said earlier, you want this in a woman, right? You need to be fit, blah, blah, blah. What yes. do you bring? You fit? You go to the gym? Yeah, I do go to the gym, actually. Hmm. I do go to the gym. I provide. I'm a protector. Hmm. I'm a leader of my household. And so I don't. And, and the someone... woman that I want is definitely not an alpha woman. I want a feminine woman. We don't talk about feminine women no more because women want to be exactly. men. Mm. When's the last time we had a conversation about femininity? No, because y'all want to be so masculine. I got to be masculine because of this. I got to be masculine because of this. I'm an alpha woman because of this. When well, are we going to get back to talking about femininity? Where is y'all stem from? Y'all. Women. When are women going to get back to talk about femininity? Where has that stemmed from? Why I don't, don't care generalizing. where it stemmed from. I, I worked hard in my life to yeah. make a living and support for my family. I don't give about what you had to go through in your life. I need a feminine woman. If you can't be that, and then you gotta kick rock. Exactly. Yeah, I don't think a lot of modern women realize that the whole boss bitch, I don't need no man mentality is also what we mean by being masculine. Most men are not attracted to mm -hmm. those types of women, just like most women are not attracted to feminine men. <laughs> Bye bye, Tata. Goodbye, Gaya. But I just noticed one thing. My ex girlfriend just walked in here with the guy she cheated on me with. Can you believe that shit? I can't believe that shit. I'm gonna play a song for her though, real quick. If she cheats, she belongs to the street. Why wow, you guys? That was such an interesting video. And I love what the guy on that podcast said. Because what every man wants in a woman is a feminine woman, not a woman who is posing as a man who wants to square up with him in every area of his life. If he is working hard to provide for the woman he loves, he wants to come home to a soft and feminine woman, not a woman who is acting like a man. Let me know what you guys think about this particular video. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And I really had fun with this one. If you guys totally enjoyed watching, give this video a massive thumbs up, comment, share, and all that good stuff. And I'll see you all in my next video. Bye, guys.